everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. A couple of weeks ago, I had told you guys that I had a very special guest that was going to come and visit me here in my power tool room. And you wouldn't believe what the cat drug in. <laughs> come on. Look I at that. Work for food. <laughs> I told you. You all wanted a video. This is all you're getting. No YouTube channel. Just Becky. It's not my own. It cut into my running. Uh, okay. <laughs> for those of you who are unaware, this is Linda Fox. And she goes by Sunny. And she is a phenomenal machine embroiderer. How many embroidery machines do you have? Um, four. You have four. And how many needles? Well, so one has a one's a fifteen needle. Okay. Kijima, and the others are single needles. Okay. Okay. And my so, goal was to have them all running at the same time. Yeah, that's right. Efficiency. Efficiency. So she's a retired uh, Navy Master Chief. Yes. Yes. Okay. E nine. E nine. E nine. Yeah. So she outranks. Me. I still work for food. <laughs> Or thread. Or thread. Okay. Yes, that's thread. right. You do work for thread. <laughs> yeah. So she and her husband, Bill, are on their way right now to visit uh, your daughter in mm -hmm. San Antonio. Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Fam oh, family in San Antonio. His, fam his brothers are in San Antonio, and then your daughter's out in Santa Fe. Okay. Right. So they're heading west. So she popped in here. Uh, I've really been looking forward to the visit. So first of all, let's do a little show and tell. She brought along. This is the first time anybody's seen show it. There it is. I told you, you know, stand by. But here it is, the haunted house. The haunted house. So this is an Anita Good design, right? Is what right. it is. Let me let me zoom in so you guys can take a look at this. So here it is. Look at this. And this is a tiling scene, is it not? Tiling scene. There, there are 12 blocks. It's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And okay. I added this, and I used in Brilliance with the biggest hoop I could get to make and use the software to make the trick or treat as big as I could in the, in the hoop in the Happy Halloween. And I so sewed, this I is this together. is not part of the. Of it the, is. It, it is. It's in the kit. There's 32 designs oh, okay. in the whole package of a wow. good design. So I I put this in and that on the top. All this is added. I mean, this is just like these the, the original. And right. then I added this on the side because it's going to hang in front of the fireplace. And this is glow in the dark fabric. Okay. This is very. So it's all detailed as applique yeah. and embroidery. But this is very cool fabric you chose for this. Yes. What what kind of fabric is that? It looks like an old building. It, yes. It, it, it was more So was a, it a fat quarter you just happened to have in your stash? Or did no, you look I, for it? I looked specifically oh, for it. Okay. I bought probably about a half a yard. Did you? Okay. Uh, I bought a yeah. half a yard of the purple. It tells you, I think, how much you need. But okay. I bought a half a yard of the purple. This is phenomenal. The and then you just bordered it with this yes. and this. Okay. To make yeah. it big enough to hang in front of the fireplace. Because if you see the... It's a little wider on the top. Yeah, so this is a sleeve, a sleeve that she has sewn on the top up here. Let me get a little bit wider. Maybe they can see. Yeah, there we go. So the sleeve is just a... So it looks like it was a five-inch piece of fabric you yes, folded over. Yes, five-inch, okay. fold over, yep. make my own tab, yep. and then sew it on. This is amazing. It turned out just adorable. What a phenomenal design. Oh, I love, look at the skeleton there's up skeleton, in the window. A couple <laughs> ghosts. There's one in the, in the in door. In the door. Yeah, there's a cat. Yeah, very, very nice. There's a couple of spiders in there. Yeah, very neat. That's cool. Okay, so this is a neat, a good design. Now this one over here, let me turn the camera a little bit. All right, so Linda, talk to me about this quilt right here. Okay, the original design is it's a sweet pea, and it's this. It's the center, and it's actually five blocks. It's called Field of Flowers. Starts with the sky, that's a block right there. It's applique and embroidery. Okay. You go down into the mountains and then starts the field of flowers and more and then uh, all the way down. So this is this is the design right here, but I have no wall space. If you've been in my house, there's no wall space left. So I thought, oh, I'll just make a quilt. So I took all of the fabric that I had left over from cutting and I used um, a Robert Kaufman Nature's Pace set of fat quarters. Okay. So if you want to try to copy that, you it's will gorgeous. see. You will see that they all just flow. The and gradation took, of color. Right. Yeah. And I took those and I started at the top with blue leftover pieces, and I just cut until I had my six-inch square. And then there was no piece that was safe. 
right. row piece. So right. that was that, that looks like crazy quilting blocks. I moved down. Yeah. It's the greens and then the oranges and the pinks and the reds and it follows I love the actual it. design. How fun. Down. I love this. And then if you look closely, my friend who's a long armor, I told her it's flowers. I should have flowers. And she put flowers on yes. it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it is gorgeous. And I love that she used a yellow thread. It is beautiful. Let me get you up close so you can see that. It is just gorgeous. So let's get up close and take a look at the embroidery. So it's applique. Applique and embroidery. And embroidery. And this is a sweet pea design. I will link to it below the video so you can see it. And then I will also link to the fabric that she used if you are interested in doing this. Wow. How many? Okay. How many hours? Ooh. <laughs> oh. This was pretty much one block a day because honestly, I think I spent more time um, trying to lay out the colors and designing it right. than it took to do it. But I was very methodical in my laying it out. That looks good. That looks good. And also when you get from one block to the next, you got to make sure that your fabric is lining up. Oh, so a different one. I so see. So see? there's the seam. See the seam? Yes, but yes. there's, but it's, it's the it same flows. fabric. Yeah. It flows. I see the way you did that. It yeah. flows. So okay. it was a big, it was a thought process. And then I let it go for a couple of days. I'm going, what am I going to do? I don't need a wall hanging. And I said, I'll make a quilt. And I had, you should see my sewing room. It was a pile, <laughs> a pile. <laughs> It was not organized at that point of scraps, and I'm going, I'm not getting rid of the scraps, and then it dawned on me, just make blocks. And I should have paid attention in math class because I actually had to figure how big the blocks could be or should be to come out up the sides and sure. across the top yeah. and the bottom. We creatives aren't fond of math. No. It's not no, what we I do. I should have paid attention in class, yeah. but I didn't. But why bother? Right. So talk to me about the Halloween quilt. Let's get up close and take a look at this. And so uh, do you remember how many stitches? I thought you posted it in the Facebook group. Oh, I don't, re I don't remember, but I think each one was, each block was uh, twenty to 30,000 stitches. Okay. But there is a lot of applique, too. So you, right. have, you have purple material. The yellow material for the moon, I use this grunge for the moon. It, it, it worked perfect. Right. Perfect. And it is gorgeous. This is a batik. This is a purple batik. And uh -huh. it worked perfect for the sky. Sure. And there was some green for the grass. But you guys, and, look at that fabric. And for, the fabric for the house was perfect. I, yeah. looked, I specifically looked for something that would look like a house. I, this, th I think I got that at Joanne's. And it, really? was, around a uh, it was around Halloween last year. Okay. And so I was probably in there, you know, so in this the is, section. It could be. Yeah, this was very methodical to, to stitch this too. And then so this same fabric here, this was... Yes, this is Glow in the Dark. And this was um, Joanne's. I'm pretty sure it was Joanne's. Okay. And you just did a fold over binding method. Yeah. Yes. So she just did the fold over binding. So th there's yes. the backing. It's just exa identical to the front. Mm -hmm. And you folded it over an inch. Yes. Then you oh. turned it in ha half inch. Half inch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm lazy like that. Sure. Yes. Absolutely. Works smarter, not harder. No, that's right. That's a good GI. These are not for sale unless Get. you have that billion dollar winning lottery ticket. Then I might <laughs> think about it. But <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. Linda and I, you go by Sunny, right? Yes. Yeah, so Sunny and I are both uh, retired GIs, and we've been having a pretty good time here. Yeah, we're cut from the same cloth, definitely. She loves to make key fobs. Key fobs. She's the key fob queen, and she does it all the time. A lot she's, of gifts. A lot, lot of, of gifts. gifts. And she's got a treat for us. She's going to kind of just go through and describe her process and how she makes the key fobs. So let me show one you made for me, okay? okay? All right, so here's one she made for me. You sent it to me a couple of months ago. And what kind of material is this? This was the faux leather. And the this, faux, this okay. one I did on the embroidery machine, the single needle. Okay, so that's on a single needle machine, all right? I put my motorhome keys on it and my keys to my little bike and Keith the Sparky. So all of the, everything we take on the on the road is on one key ring. Okay. And notice how they slip over your wrist. Yes. That's, that's, a lot of people don't know about that, that it's just a key fob and then you, if you put it over your wrist, you don't have to actually hold on to your keys. And that's nice. It's nice if you're like paying for something at the supermarket right. and you have to dig into your bag, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to kind of take us through her process here and I'm going to take the camera off and let her talk to what she's got sitting up right here. Let's talk about 
the different fabrics one might use to make these, okay? okay. So, so this is a great use of novelty prints. Yeah, so if you're a, f a football mom or a baseball mom or t-ball mom and you want to make um, key fobs for everyone on the team, it's very easy to you know go buy a half yard of material and I'll show you easy peasy lemon squeezy as my second graders would say when I used to sub for them. Very easy on how many you can get out of a fat quarter. So if you're going and you see a couple fat quarters that you really like and they're they're just like novelty stuff and you want to pick one up, you can get six key fobs out of one fat quarter. So here's the base fat quarter here's right here. Here's the base underneath. Right. You don't need, you know, algebra or anything. This is easy. One, music for your music kids or your music teacher. Or your choir teacher, or sure. Or your choir teacher. They mm -hmm. make great gifts for Christmas. Another one, and that's soccer mom. Okay, so that's four. Football season is coming up. That's five, and if you want some one for someone who's not very, they just want plain color, you always ask them their favorite color, and there's number six, and then you have an empty space. There's no wasted space. There is enough a, left over. A background for a mug rug. For a mug rug. Great. So awesome. that's, that's the six that you can get out of a fat quarter, and we'll show you how to make them very easy, and then And you uh, said this gifts. is four by 12? Oh, it's four by 12 and a half. 12 and a half, so okay. So if you cut these four by 12 and a half, uh -huh. you, like I said, you can get six out of them. Awesome, awesome. And on, on the back, Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you have on the back? Do not throw your small pieces of fusible away. I've used SF-101. I've used uh, Pellin 931, uh, 911. 911, yeah. Uh, That's a good Craft one. Fuse 808. Okay. Those, that makes it really stiff, though, if you use an 808. But all your pieces, and you know what? Some of these are pieced. If you look at this one, yeah. it's pieced. Uh, don't, I don't. I don't throw anything away if I think I can use it. And just uh, give it a backing to yeah, make so it those, just... Yeah, so that's overlapped there in that center. There. Yeah. Yeah. Just... Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Perfect. So you can throw those in a basket and then one day just make gifts. These make great gifts. When you put a person's name on something, you know, or they know, it was made just for them. Yeah. And they like that. Everybody Perfect loves Christmas, that. Christmas stocking stuffers. Yeah. Teacher gifts. Uh-huh. Um, team gifts birthday parties scout every, leaders scout leaders sure and for every child that comes to the birthday party yeah yeah and they yeah. go home with something with their name on it for their backpack sure or their, or their softball bag or whatever that's great that's really cool okay so let's go through the process of how you make the key fob so you cut everything out and you or if you wanted to make six of the same you would just Fuse the whole back fabric, right, and then cut them out. Cut them apart. Yeah, but I I usually do them one at a time, one or two at a time, because I will ask a person, what's your favorite sport, and what's your two favorite colors, and then you, if you can incorporate that into the design and you give it to them, they'll know that you made it just for them. Yeah. So I cut out the fabric, zip zip zip, four and a half by or four by twelve and a half, and then you get your iron out, and you just I do a finger press first, and then I fold it. Okay. Okay. So and you fold you, the edges into center. Edges into center. Mm-hmm. And you iron it, and watch the iron. It doesn't burn your fingers because it gets a little warm, and you just fold it into center. And then once you get it into center, of course it'll all be flat, you just fold it again. And that's how easy it is. So you now you have where you're marking. Okay. Now you'll notice there's no embroidery on this one. Okay, you have to do your embroidery. So we have one here. Oh, show Aiden's for this, right? For Aiden, yes, Aiden. Okay, go to the machine. Well, actually, for the embroidery, you mark it. And here's my really high-tech tool. Chalk. Teacher's chalk. <laughs> 50 cents at Walmart. You're gonna have so much left over even after your career of embroidery is done, you'll have to put it in your will. There's so much. So it, you, it lasts forever. So you put the embroidery. So this is the fourth. I can see one, two, two three, three, four. Three. And you put the name on three. Right. right? So what I do is I, I'm folding it. I'll fold it in like it was going to go onto the machine. Right. And you can see my chalk mark still on this one. I fold it in half so that I can get this end 
in this end. And then and center then in there. Center in there. Yeah. And then put it on your machine however you want to put it on your machine. Your single needle, your multi-needle. Um, for the backing, easy peasy. So you've got tear away tear on away. there. Now you put three layers of tear three, away on that three one. Three layers of tear away. Okay. It, it just makes it a little more stiff. So you don't get the puckering at all with no. that heavy satin no. stitch. Not at and all. And does it matter the font? Um, I think I have different fonts. I, I have about six or eight different fonts that I will use that just look nice. You want something that's going to show up. It's got to be a little bit wide. It can't be the skinny. Right. Um, you want something with some body to right. it. Right. So, right. and is that a one inch font? No, this since this is one inch, when you fold it, okay. it is like 0.65. Oh, so just over half an inch. Just over half an inch because okay. you because you have you need the room for you need the, the fold. room for folding. Yep. yep. So it's not in, it's not one inch. About it's about 0.65, I think. Okay. And if you don't have software, you could use a font in your machine, right? Because right. most embroidery machines come Absolutely. with fonts. Okay. As, as long as you, you know, do your trace and everything, make sure it fits in where it's going to fit in. Yeah. But you have to fit in between this chalk line and this chalk line. Okay. So that when you fold it and do your hardware attachment, it's there. So then after you get your, your uh, ironing done, iron one, iron two, iron three, unfold it again because when you go to the machine, you need it flat. Do your embroidery. Embroidery is done. Okay, this one's for Cali. Here's one, the embroidery's done and is folded back again. Then you top stitch it. Okay. So the Very top simple. stitching is the last bit of stitching you do, and you do that with your sewing machine. Sewing machine. Okay. So the top stitching, I try to match uh, the top stitching with something like this one's pink to go with the pink flowers. And it's really easy. Give it a, a quick press, take it to the sewing machine, zip. I mean, I do it like eighth inch in. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not rocket science. You don't need to pass trigonometry to, to do this one, but just an eighth inch in. And then I also match bobbin. I don't know why. You wouldn't see the back, but I match the bobbin and then press it again. And fold it in half. Fold it in half. Okay, so now, is this one ready for the hardware? It's ready for the hardware. Okay, so how? what do you have here? So, okay. I, now I'm going to link to the hardware below the video, but, uh -huh. so you buy these, this is a kit? Um, yes, you can buy a hundred of these at a time, or 20 at a time, or 50 in a pack. Okay. And she'll have the link on the site, on the video. Okay. So, wait a minute, so you got, on this little thing, you've got one side with teeth and right. one side without one so smooth which way does it go smooth to the front okay oh because the back has little claw yes tooth indentations yes okay so we so don't want that grab. showing on the front right so, so see how perfect that is yeah that's a one inch that's one inch. great uh-huh and see how the top stitching matches and yes then, see it's this beautiful this font is uh called kindergarten or something like that it's okay. more of a, a child's font sure so i did that one it's beautiful and then very easy make sure when you order it uh, to your link that the ring um the rings come with it you don't yeah. have to buy the ring separate and, and then, then show me these pliers Okay. See so these, these are pretty heavy duty pliers and they have rubber on them to prevent damage. Right. Okay. They're, so you don't put a dent into the Oh, so you're crimping one side. One side very slowly, just a little bit. Okay. Then the other side, make sure it's centered. Look at okay. That. And then then all Then at give once. it one. Give it one good one. Okay. You've heard it from the expert. That's Look it. at that. Oh, it turned out beautiful. You can do you can do a whole team or a whole classroom or a whole birthday party in an afternoon if you, you know. If you're that much of a glutton for punishment. Well, and if you have, it's a good use <laughs> of leftovers. Yes. Of your stash. Yeah. So, so if somebody has a favorite dog and you've got dog fa fabric right. and, yeah, yes. cats and, and anything. 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 So, uh, like I said, fat quarters are six of them out of a fat quarter. That's great. And don't forget your high-tech marking equipment. That's right. Oh. We'll link to that too yes. in case somebody doesn't have it. <laughs> right. 50 cent Walmart. <laughs> so you've got a couple of others down there that you are making for your grandkids, right? Pink, yeah, those, those, oh, those. Oh, no, this was for breast cancer. Breast cancer's coming up. Yeah. So I have a few survivor friends, a few survivor buddies. So same thing. This one's a little short, but you know what? Uh, 10 inches still works, by the way. Okay. So 10 inches, I think this was 10. I had a little piece of um, 
fabric left over that I made her a notebook so she could keep all her appointments in uh -huh. with this on and embroider her name. So then I had but this. A, but a shorter one, you can actually like hook it to a piece of luggage. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, we used to do that in the military. We'd tag them different. Yeah. So we knew our stuff. Yeah. So same thing. Breast Cancer Month is in uh, October and this was uh, some material that I had found. Same thing. You just fold it, mark it, do your embroidery. Yes. Put, put a name on and then top stitch it. Mm-hmm. And then hardware. attach your hardware. Yeah. And then for the um, one and a half or... Um, so this is a, a one and a quarter inch hardware set that you said is good for gentlemen. Yes. They See, like them a little wider. Five inch. Okay. So cut it five inches by 12 and a half. Okay. And it will work just fine. And then when you fold it center, into the center, into the center again, and it's a perfect fit. This is great. And so you can use, um, there's Halloween fabric down there at yes. the end of the, and you've got some Kimberbell fabric and yeah, and tractors and oh yeah, the and possibilities are absolutely endless. endless. So all your material, even if you want to make something uh, for, for yourself, for, just for Christmas to change, you know, people change out purses, you can change out key fobs. Sure. Christmas, Halloween, uh, birthdays, whatever, other than that. They're easy. They're easy to make, and they're very well received from the people who get them. Sure, with the of name course. On. So, see, that's that's your video. That's your video. That's my YouTube channel for life. <laughs> and just remember, if you, you know, you need a step or something, or you miss a step, you can rewind. All that's that, right. That's VHS. <laughs> rewind. People, people like like binge watch my channel and they watch these videos over yes. and over and yes. I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people watching this one going how big did she say to make it how long did she say Four to make it half, you guys five, can take 12. notes take yeah. notes and then yeah. just rewind push That's that little it. mouse button back again <laughs> but it really is easy and don't it throw is. any of your um fusibles away use scraps sure. use it up I have piles yeah. of that stuff fat quarters yeah uh, I'm I'm hoping I didn't start any enablers here and go and buy every fat quarter you can find now. But, um, yeah, you can make a lot of nice gifts. And Christmas is not as far away as you think. Well, I tell you what, there is a booth at the Houston Festival that I will be at in, in November this year. It's nothing but novelty fabrics. That's all it is. Thousands Ooh. and thousands of Ooh, bolts of novelty fabrics. So if you're looking for something special, you let me know and I'll pick it up for you. Thank okay? you. Yeah, yeah. She's got uh, tons of thousands and thousands of fat quarters too. So, As promised, um, I brought some loot to give to Becky so that she could um, give it for prizes when she hits milestones. Uh, in her YouTube channel. Well, first so, of all, show them what you brought me. Okay. Show them what you brought me. Yeah, yeah. This so because power tools, tools, power tools or thread. We You're gonna have power, power thread. Power, power thread, baby. It's Look a, how big that is. It's a cookie can. <laughs> it's how big it is. Ah, how fun! And where did you get this? I don't know. I was. I, I got some fat quarter somewhere, and I said, "Oh, I need that." And I can't remember where I got it's it. It's adorable. I, yes, it, it is. A, it is it's absolutely adorable. It thing, is. You know? is a perfect thing to fit in my in my sewing room. Linda, you, now let's talk about this contest you just won with Sewing Machines Plus. Right. Right. So you did. So you're you're a runner. Yes. Yeah. Like, like everyday runner. Like a crazy. Yeah. Like because I like ice cream. Yeah. And See, chocolate. I, I, I'm built for comfort, not for speed. <laughs> this yeah. one whoo, runs every day. And she's always posting pictures in our Power Tools with Thread Facebook group of her feet. <laughs> with the dogs. With the dogs. That I carry treats for. Of course. She and gets I, out of the car here. She's got a bag of treats and she's treating the dogs. The race, what do you call them, race tapes? Um, the... Um the thing you get when you run a race. Oh, the, the drapes. The drapes. Oh, the, the metal the, drapes. The, the metal drapes. So she had hundreds of these things and put them into a quilt. And Power Tools with Thread jumped on board. And the whole Facebook group just supported you like crazy during that, that last content. Wonderful. That so was my This silly notion I had when they told me I had cancer the first time. I'm going, oh, no, I'm going to run a thousand races before I kick the bucket. And it started. And it got out of control, like us buying fat quarters. Sometimes it gets out of control. Never. And never, never. No, never too many no, fat quarters. Never too much fabric. So then I said, oh, i got to do something with all these metals. So I cut them off. And then I got this idea to make this quilt. Right, of all I'll, those drapes. I'll put a picture of it right here so you can see it. That was the first thousand races, and that was the first contest. And then Sewing Machines Plus comes out with another contest, and it was Hoop Fest for embroidery. 
Right. And that's where I entered the Anita Good Design house tile. Yes. And that one. And I'm going, wow, this is great. And power tools with plot, uh, with thread really supported me. And, yeah, and absolutely. the boats, I had boats from Australia and England. And you guys are I awesome. Mean, all, I yeah. mean, everywhere. Yeah. Thank you all. Hey, somebody is coming from Australia to be on the cruise. Ooh. Yes. I can't believe it. Are I'm they bringing so, Vegemite? Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> She's a piece of work, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, I won. Again, thank you. And the first thing I got was a, a cabinet, nice new cabinet, and I put my machine on. It's great. And then this time I won um, a smaller machine and lots of Anita Good Design. And I'm going, I'm going to give it to Becky so that she can give it to you. Yes. Anita's University. This, what's, what do you think the value of this is? Oh, a couple hundred dollars. Okay, a couple hundred dollars. The design, this is the USB, all the designs are on here. Right. Uh, it's step-by-step -step instructions inside. It's even uh, in different uh, categories. You right. can You can teach yourself um, anything and everything just by going through this step by step. They usually do this when you when they come to town. They'll do a, Anita's University yes. in certain areas of the country and you get the book after you pay for your registration blah blah blah. But they gave me one of these in my prize package and I From thought... From Sewing Machines Plus. And yes. I thought that someone uh, out there in YouTube channel land in Becky's uh, channel land would really like this. Uh, I'm I'm a seasoned embroidery. I'm on the downhill slide, so to speak, as in I want to retire, you know. And so this needs to go to someone who's um, just like start either starting out or really into it. So what she and I talked about was we this will be a giveaway when I hit 75,000 subscribers. I'm just over 51,000 right now. So share the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps my Google Analytics uh, on YouTube like you wouldn't believe. And uh, yeah, share it with your friends and get everybody to subscribe and be a public subscriber. We can see that. One of you is going to get this and you're going to absolutely love it. It's just phenomenal. There's uh, over 100 pages in here to tell you everything you need to do. There's free standing projects. There's all kinds of, there's door decor, Bargello mug rug. I mean, there's just a ton of things you can do in this Anita's University. So, Sunny, this is amazing. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You're, You're awesome. awesome. I'm, I am so blessed. I have the most benevolent viewers and people that are part of uh, the Power Tools with Thread world. Okay, so this has been a lot of fun. I am so glad you uh, took time out of your trip to come here and visit with me and give me this to give to my viewers. I can't wait to give this away. So, all right, uh, what do I always tell them to do? Go, Go sew something. something! Bye.